So we're going to consider the region of the space enclosed in the first quadrant by y equal x, y equals square root of x, and um, we're going to calculate the area of this region. I have the answer there. That doesn't mean uh, that we have to stop now. <laughs> so anytime you do these kinds of problems, the best thing to do is to sketch the region and sketch it accurately. Don't just throw it in your calculator and like haphazardly sketch it on your paper. It's really important to have a good sketch in order to get the problem right, which is what we want to do. So if I give a sketch of this, a little pair of axes here, y equal x is bisects the first quadrant right in half, and y equals square root of x, well I know that it goes to the point 0, 0, and it goes to the point 1, 1 as well. So it looks like this. So this is the region in the first quadrant that is bounded by those two graphs. So this is y equals square root of x, y equal x, x axis, y axis. Now we're going to find the region of the space or the area of this region that I've just shaded there. So in order to do that, I need to think about that the area changes so it's not like this is a standard formula like you know the area of a rectangle is length times width this is a strange area so I'm just going to pick a random slice and draw a little rectangle in here and find the area of that rectangle and then I assume that all those rectangles have the same behavior within this region and then I add up all the areas of the rectangle so the area of the rectangle is equal to length times width. Now the width of the rectangle is this distance right here, which according to this along the x-axis is delta x. So I know my width is delta x. Now I have just have to come up with the length of my rectangle, which is this distance here between y equals square root of x and y equal x. So let's see, the distance between there the distance from the axis to y equals square root of x is square root of x, and the distance from the axis to y equal x is y equal x, and I want the difference between them. So my length is going to be the square root of x minus x. Now if I want to actually talk about summing up all the rectangles that I'm going to be able to draw from here to here, letting delta x go to zero, so they're teeny teeny rectangles. I have to figure out my bounds on my x-axis. So it looks like I already know from 0 to 1, but just in case, I'm going to find the intersection of the two graphs. So that means solving the equation square root of x equals x. So if I square both sides, I get x equals x squared. Subtracting x from both sides. Don't divide by x. Dividing by the variable causes all kinds of trouble, so a good rule of thumb is just don't do it. Factor out an x. So it looks like here x equals 0 and x equal 1 solves this equation, separating it. If the product of two things equals 0, one has to be 0 and the other has to be 0. All right, so now it looks like my bounds then, because of this and this, I will go from 0 to 1, adding up my rectangles of the function square root of x minus x dx. And again, right, you, these are actually easy to do. If you want to practice for the gateway, those of you who are in my class, you can go ahead and do this problem. Um, otherwise, you can put it in your calculator, and the answer you should come up with is 0 0.1667, approximately. And then you have to think what unit of measure, where we're calculating the area of a region, we don't have specific units like inches or feet or whatever, so we just say units squared.